If past numbers are any indication, about 110 million people are going to watch the Super Bowl come February 1st. Let's say you're expecting company. Feeding them doesn't have to take hours of prep work, Mike. It doesn't. Chef Brenda Felsing is here with us this morning. Good Welcome to see you, Brenda. in. Thank yes. you for having you. me. Make some Super Bowl goodies today, right? Yes, okay, we, what are we are. Make? We are making pizza pinwheels, and the reason I love this recipe is because it's really versatile. You can use it as a main dish, you can use it as a side for a super salad. Mm -hmm. The kids love it, everybody loves it, and there's nothing that says you care like making your own dish. And doing it to where you're not spending all day in the kitchen, you don't see no. a single down no, during it's, the game. This is super easy. You can get a, a store-bought pizza dough. Okay. I've made my own. I just threw it in the bread machine. Mm -hmm. But it, we roll it out and then if you guys would like to help, let's put some oh, pepperoni. Look, 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 came in. <laughs> <laughs> I love pepperoni. You so could have done that without trying to trick us. Well, <laughs> she yells at me if I start eating food before I'm done. So you right. just want to put all the pepperoni. You're not putting sauce down the way we would a typical pizza, though. No, I'm not, because we're going to dip it in sauce at the end. Mike, do you want to help her out here and start working on I that will. side? I will. Can you get out of my way? <laughs> Brenda's so, so glad she came. <laughs> Mary, so, can, can you move, Boy, please? this has been a real pleasure, I need guys. room when I put my pepperoni on the pie here. Uh, okay, could you put anything on here? What do yeah, you like for tip toppings know, on this one? One thing that I would say is that you want to saute your veggies if you're going to do veggies. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to overload it either. So my favorite is actually pepper turkey pepperoni, Cream cheese and green chili oh, is yum. my favorite, but you can use just about anything. And I notice with the olives, you've diced them finely. Yep, yep. you don't want it really chunky, mm -hmm. uh, but then you put whatever you like. I have some fresh parsley here. Yeah, I love the parsley. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so um, good. And, this and, is and coming you together put the cheese beautifully. On top of all this, or uh, how does this work? Yes, you're going to go ahead and put the cheese on no? there now as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. What type of cheese are you using on this uh, one? This particular one, Just I'm a, using like a, a little bit of Jack <laughs> and mozzarella. <laughs> like, I, I, I was can gonna, tell I can tell you what is your like favorite. We've got a blend here. I wanted it's, to get the Jack. Like it on. looks great. Now let me scoot over here and I'll show them yeah, how to roll it up. That's listen, great. You got it. Yep, Somebody get it all needs to nice help us out. I like to spread it out. I like I like getting the cheese edge to edge because mm -hmm. sometimes. If you don't put it edge to edge, you're cheating. But this some isn't like a regular pizza to where you'd be deprived of ingredients on the edge because you're starting to roll this sucker. Right, yes, right. just like you would cinnamon rolls. Okay. So you roll it up, and then you just cut it into equal parts. Mm -hmm. How thick was the dough to start? If our viewers want to try this at home oh, and they're, they're curious about your, your recommendation on that. You know, I would. You roll it, it pretty depends thin. on how. Yes, it's as thin as possible without there, tearing it really. It, let me turn it sideways mm -hmm. so we can just see the the end right here. Right there, so that gives you a little bit of it. Well, what, 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 what camera are we on here? Where are we at? There we go. That's so how thin it is. Really, yeah, there we go. Oh, my. Not bad. All right, so, so your, your slices are about an inch and a quarter or so, I see, as you're putting them into yep. the, the And then you pie just pan. put them right in the pie pan. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah. And then you fill it up. Mm -hmm. But you've got all these oils and stuff over here, yes. too. So when do these come in? Now, you can put oil. Spices in your pan. You've before. got some cracked dried pepper here, so if you yes. wanted to cook it up it, a little bit. Exactly. You know, I kind of like the idea of at least doing two batches one that's a little more mild for guests Absolutely. who don't want all that heat, right. and yes. then one that's a little more daring for guests yes. who do. And then you can also, after it comes out of the oven, mm -hmm. here we'll show this because these look idea. exactly like cinnamon rolls. That yes. idea. Only it's the savory taste. And, yeah. and then you dip them in a, in a marinara mm -hmm. type yeah. sauce, right? I'm gonna dish some up. If that you want to hand me that fabulous. spatula This is over still there. warm, Chef. Did you yes. take this out of the oven this morning? I did. I did. Oh my goodness. I know. Especially I just wait. for you. I got up super early. Mary, did you hear Miss Felsing? She asked you to pass the spatula. Oh, I, I was <laughs> looking. I was <laughs> looking at the food. Not paying attention again. <laughs> Surprise. So um, at the end, mm -hmm. if you like, you can also brush it with some olive oil. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can add a little bit of parsley. And then I have homemade marinara, homemade mm -hmm. pesto that is wonderful to put on oh, the side for I, dipping. Because some what? people do like taco bars yes. or nacho bars where you could fun. put all of these dips out. Exactly. And then the guests could dress their pinwheels however they please. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Any general tips for party Try foods and I guess entertaining? Because I love appetizers like this when we entertain at our house. I do too. You know, I like to think of things that are going to hold for a while. Yeah. Things mm -hmm. that perhaps you could even make the day before. Okay, that was my question. Could you do this on the last day of January and then bake it off you know, on Super Bowl Sunday? I made this yesterday. Uh -huh. And I baked it this morning. So the thing is, it's just going to take a little bit more time to rise. You have to be careful with the dough a little bit, right? In terms well, of how long you keep 
the dough stored? I mean, yeah. you can't keep it in the fridge forever. You put it, no. Well, I made the pinwheels last night. I put them to rise in the fridge, and then I baked them this morning. Mm -hmm. It might take a little bit longer to bake, and you put them in a real warm spot, but you can definitely do that. Let's say you're doing it all at once. How high at what length? Oh, well, it, the whole entire process takes about three and a half hours mm. just because you have mm. to let the dough rise twice. Delicious. But it's really not uh, that time consuming to do the work itself. No. Oh, your dough is, the dough is delicious. Mm -hmm. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it is nice. The nice recipe flavor. is all on uh, Queen of Comfort Cuisine Facebook mm -hmm. as well as your website. Yep, we put it up online. Yes. Um, our viewers, what, you teach classes? Yes. What do you do? I teach public and private classes mm -hmm. and we just have a lot of fun. I'm uh, more of an, uh, I love cooking uh, family meals mm -hmm. that take the comfortable uh, stuff. Yes, well, I, yeah. that's my time to catch up. You like uh, these comfort up. foods, right? Absolutely. So I think we. that that's what Sweet everyone too. really wants to have mm -hmm. when they go to a party or, or get together. These are so good, <laughs> really. And, yeah. I, and really I love good, the yeah. idea that they're more flexible than a standard pizza. My, well, my kids would love flavors. putting something like this together mm -hmm. as well. Be a good family mm -hmm. friendly recipe. Thank something you for coming easy. in. My really pleasure. appreciate you being here, and I know our crew might appreciate having a few of those. Oh, too. I believe <laughs> in that. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Chef. My pleasure. We Thank you. It. Thank you.